So this is a Megalodon too. It is was a huge predatory shark and illustrations that you see of them are look a lot like a white shark, but this is really all we have from the prehistoric fossil record because the cartilaginous skeletons of these sharks don't make very good fossils, but their teeth had enamel, so they preserved quite well. And throughout the lifetime, sharks are shedding teeth all the time. So shark teeth in the fossil record are actually quite common. But this tooth came off of a, about a 15 foot male white shark. So you can imagine how big this megalodon was. If that equals 15 feet, there's 15, 30. Big. Maybe a 45 foot long shark. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that this was always thought to be the ancestor to white shark because it has a serrated edge. If you look at a, at a white shark tooth, this is a white shark tooth, it also has a serrated edge. And that basically was the only real strong character that linked these two together and made everyone think, okay, the white shark came from Megalodon. Really recent work though has shown that there is, um, you know, fossil mako shark that has serrated teeth. Now, mako sharks today have very smooth teeth. That's why they were discarded as the ancestor to white sharks. But now that we know that mako sharks in their ancestry had serrated teeth as well, the feeling is that white sharks have come from mako sharks. And actually, they look a lot like a mako shark. I mean, they're very similar sharks. White sharks get bigger, tend to eat more marine mammals, but um, that's the latest trend now, is that Megalodon is out as the ancestor to white sharks, and it is an ancestral form of the Mako shark that was a common ancestor. Very interesting. <laughs>